Today I'm showing you how you can download Bedrock Launcher. Now, Bedrock Launcher or Bedrock Launcher Lite, same thing, is a program for Minecraft Bedrock Edition which is going to help you downgrade Minecraft or just provide a smoother Minecraft experience overall. Do keep in mind though that Bedrock Launcher does not pirate Minecraft, which basically means that you need to have Minecraft Bedrock um, bought and installed on your current device to be able to run this. Anyways, you can find the link to the download at the top of the description over here. This is the official website, and to download it, you want to click on this green download button on the left side over there. You might get this notification here. You want to click on OK, and as you can see in the bottom left of my screen, Bedrock Launcher has started downloading. In my downloads, as you can see, I've been able to find it. To um, start it up, you want to double click on that right there. Um, this 7-zip is self-extracting archive little box here is going to come up. You want to click on extract there and then it's automatically going to extract and you're going to be left with a folder here. Um, as you can see, you can open up this folder and in this folder there's going to be a few things. And basically you want to click on the start bedrock launcher dot exe just like this. It is going to load just like so, and then once it's done that, um, it is going to just give you this welcome screen, welcome screen right here. Welcome to the Bedrock Launcher. You can click on Next. Um, then you, here, this is just the location it's going to install. You just do definitely just want to keep this as it is. Uh, don't do anything else or something like that. Um, then you want to choose your account, which can also just be a default account. However, I'm going to select my own account. Then once you click on next again, you'll just get this right over here. You can leave that ticked and then you can click on finish. And now, as you can see, Bedrock Launcher has been opened. Now, I've already installed this before, so for you, it might take a few seconds for this to, you know, basically install. However, um, you should be left with this here. And as you can see, this looks incredibly similar to the Minecraft Java Edition launcher. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, basically, there's a few functionalities it has. The first one is just being the Java launcher, but then for Bedrock Edition. So you can click on play here to start playing. However, there's something cooler. Um, so you know how with Java Edition, you can, well, if you don't know, you can go back versions um, to any version you want. And with this Bedrock Edition launcher, you can do the same. So um, if you, let's say you want to play Minecraft, I don't know what, you can go new installation. Um, then you can choose your version. So for example, I can play Minecraft um, let's say um, like 1.12 1, 1, 1. right here um, for Minecraft Bedrock Edition and then you can just call this anything you want so 1.12 probably then in my case then you can click on create um, and then you can just you can have all your installations here that you want uh, and you can make as many as you want as well and as you can see I can play 1.12 here now if I want to I can play the latest release which is just going to be fully updated Minecraft uh, and you can play betas and previews as well without having to have the separate beta and preview um, app. Anyways, we can just probably select the latest release here since that's the most convenient. And you want to click on play. Now that is going to start downloading and that is going to take a while. Um, as you can probably tell. However, um, that is only the first time you are starting up a new installation. Once you have done that... Um, for the first time, you'll never have to do it again. As you can see, Minecraft has successfully loaded up, and it's loaded up, well, what for me is currently the most recent version of Minecraft, which is 1.20.0. 1.20.1 is probably going to be out by the time this video comes out, and maybe if you're watching this video in the far future, you might be in 1.22. Who knows? Either way, this should all work the same, and if it doesn't, then I will leave a video in the description as well as in the pinned comment letting you guys know that things have changed. Anyways, there is one last thing to take note of here. You should be able to do everything just fine. However, as you can see, I only have one world here, and all my other worlds are gone. So for that, I will link the Bedrock Launcher FAQ page in the description as well. And basically, this is just going to help you um, get, get your worlds back. So you'll only have to do this the first time. 
Uh, and basically this is just, you know, that because you installed Bedrock Launcher that your worlds are going to be gone. Don't worry, they will all still be saved on your device. Um, Bedrock Launcher just won't be able to load them up, sadly. Uh, and this is just going to help you fix that and it'll help you actually load it up. Um, same thing with the realms and stuff like that. So more FAQs right here. Anyways, if you do have any other questions apart from that, then you can just feel free to leave those down in the comments below. However, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.